Hello, I don't know which way to hold this. Maybe that way round. Hello, <laughs> Neil. Welcome back to the Happy Huts. Uh, usually this is the Tightwood Dad vlog where we are happy. We're trying to be happy with what we've already got. <laughs> but at the moment we're in the, the great shutdown of 2020. And so I'm trying to do something every day that I've not done before. And today I'm going to explain how I made this a display for a bus blind, a bus destination board. And I actually built this four years ago. I don't know why I've not shared the footage. Now, I know if you found this by searching how to build a display for a bus blind, I know the one that you want. It's the display that I want, which has a handle that would crank up the blind and change the destination. I just couldn't afford that. And I'll tell you why in a moment, how I got these bits together. But I'll put a link in the description if I ever find a video about how to build one of those, that'll be awesome. But this is something slightly different. I went onto eBay and I found a, a destination that I wanted. It's something, it's a place that's uh, very dear to my heart, Camden Road in London. It cost me about 15 quid what people are doing is they're taking the big strips and they're cutting them into single destinations so this was about 15 quid and i love it i really wanted to work out a way of mounting it and putting it up on the wall in a way that wasn't going to break the bank i spent ages trying to find the right frame i finally found it in of all places ikea i'll show you the footage now it's uh it's actually a, a frame that comes already with a print in it picasso <laughs> it's the picasso print but it's the exact dimensions that would be right for displaying my bus destination blind so i had a frame but what i really wanted to do was to put a light behind this so i got an led light strip and i needed to work out a way of putting this blind at the front of the frame so then I thought, well, if I've got some Perspex, and I got this Perspex from Wix or, or B&Q, and I cut the Perspex to the size of the frame, then I could put the blind onto the Perspex and have the lights behind it illuminating this from behind. But that meant there was a gap at the top and the bottom. So then I got this black spray from Poundland. It's a, I think it's a gloss car spray might not even be the right paint for for perspex leave a comment below if you've got any other tips but it worked for me all i needed to do was to mask off the bit in the middle that is the right width or rather the white the right height for this blind so then i put the the masking tape on i sprayed it uh, removed the masking tape and put it all together and that's what this video is about it's pretty much in real time so you can uh, follow along with me i hope I hope this helps someone somewhere find a way to display their beautiful bus blind. So this is what I've used for the background. It's an Ikea Picasso picture. Is that copyright? Probably mass produced by Ikea. But inside I sort of drilled a hole and from Lidl I've got these LED strip lights. So that will be the back of the frame. So the idea is that if I have that in front, it'll be lit up. Now I need to get a bit of plexiglass, spray paint it black with masking tape, rip it off, and then hopefully the light will shine through behind the sign. This is what I've used. It's a black gloss car paint from Poundland. Take it up and I measured the middle of this plastic that I got from B&Q and then I'm masking taped it out the middle section and then sprayed it that's me reconstructing how I spray painted it and sound effects and everything so hopefully this is the big moment of truth this is this will hopefully reveal a clear section in the middle and i'm going to do it on camera so it could be really embarrassing if it's gone wrong let's give it a go try and take it off um, there might be a way to get that off the, the back of the masking tapes left a mark on the on the glass with some of the glue's been left behind from the masking tape but i think I, that'll come off with surgical spirit 
trick is to do it slowly. Ah, big section there. I'm going to go close so you can see how the edge is going to come up. Right, the trick is to do it super slow. Look, can you see there's a straight edge coming off now? You can see that the masking tape has protected the plexiglass on this side. It's giving a straight line so far. It's going to be a very long video. I'm going to do it. It's a metre wide, or one metre, six centimetres wide. But lifting up slowly really helps because it doesn't leave so many bits of masking tape bits behind. Probably should have done that other bit a lot slower. I was worried that the tape would lift up the paint, but it seems to be okay. I'm also hoping that because the bus blind is going to be behind this and it's black, that it won't look, if there are any jaggedy edge problems, that it won't look too bad because the blind will be up against it. When I put the masking tape down, I really rubbed it down hard with my fingernail. That seems to have paid off. Oh, I'm a bit frustrated by, can you see those, there's a big mark there with the, uh, the bit of masking tape. It's just all over the place. Ah, right, the trouble with um, taking it too far away now is that there's a tear here. That's not so good. So if I try and bring it round, and then I'll come back from the other side. Okay, that's lifted that up. That's good. Let's try and go from the other end. I'll probably put the whole thing on one really long video <laughs> so you can live along with the tearing with me. So what might be easier is to remove the middle one first. Let's try that and do it really super slowly and to make sure that the pull is close to where it's coming off the plastic sheet, the acrylic. That seems to be a much cleaner way of getting it off. And now I'll do the the next section and also I left the on the acrylic sheet I left the protective there's like a protective sheet on both sides I took it off this side obviously to lay down the masking tape but I left it on the other side just in case there, in, there was any spray paint or you know uh, spillages it's hopefully protected on the other side right here goes for the clean edge uh, split so I've got to do Try and join it up and then move it really slowly. The spray paint was uh, was drying about half an hour uh, if you do it in quick layers but I had to do lots of layers so I got through a couple of cans. You don't get that much paint in, in the can and even now there are sort of spits and spots which I'll try to show you later but I might <laughs> I might just cover those with marker pen. I think using the spray paint has, has helped because it flexes with the glass if I did it with gloss paints, I think I'd be worried that it would crack and fall off or come off with the tape. And I laid down the two strips first to get my edges and I, I ran a pencil line with a metal ruler full length just to make sure that it was dead straight. And then I filled the middle with uh, two extra bits of masking tape. Still not sure if this is the best way to mount the bus blind, but we'll see how it looks in a minute. And this should be completely clean so I'm trying not to touch it too much but getting my greasy mitts all over it. Yeah, I see there's a bit that's come off there. Ah, put more on. Oh. 
try and find a way to lift that off in a sec. I'm going to time jump this, so I'll do that um, off camera, but I'll just finish this section off here. Here comes the final section. I'm going to separate it from that so I can do it in two bits. Take this one off first, and then I've got to lift up one way and the other. There's loose sections. Let's do this one first. Yeah. And then this one. There we go. Perfect line. Let's see if I can get this off. So I'm going to try and lift it off in a way that lifts that off. Here is the the final final bit. There you go. There you go. So it's a complete blackout blind for the bus blind. So it sort of works something like this. Can't see it too bad, does it? But it'll fit inside. Looks really good. There you go. Okay, and then here's the protective film coming off. So that's how my display for my bus blind or my bus destination board finished up. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? This is what it looks like today. You'll notice a slight change in destination. I, I absolutely loved Camden Road and I really liked the yellow color, but I wanted something that would change color. And also this destination meant a bit more to me. It was a bus that I went on to get to school in the morning when I was a kid. But the problem I had was that this destination was much thinner. It had a, a much lower height. So I had to put the masking tape on and spray even more paint on to make the black borders work for this blind. And this is what it looks like after. It'd be lovely to know that somebody reached the end of the video. If you've hit this point, why not click on the thumbs up just to let me know that somebody watched all the way through. It'd be lovely to see that. If you've got any questions or any tips for making this even better or easier, or more cost effective, why not leave a comment below? It'd be fantastic to hear from you. And if you're feeling even kinder, why not hit the subscribe button? You never have to watch any of my videos again, but every subscription helps me to keep on doing this. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. How was that?